We continue to be in challenging times due to COVID-19. Face masks have become commonplace, an effort to mitigate the spread of illness, but not without cost to communication. Those with hearing loss in particular are facing unforeseen challenges. The degradation to speech when a talker is wearing a mask, along with the loss of visual cues, poses very difficult communication hurdles. At Phonak, we have been eager to investigate the acoustic effects of a face mask and the relationship to speech perception in order to offer viable evidence-based solutions to our clients. That being said, I would like to walk you through some of the recent research conducted at the Phonak Audiology Research Center. First, we performed some technical measures to better understand the acoustic effects of a face mask. In general, a face mask acts as a filter attenuating high frequencies that are necessary for understanding speech. These effects may be dependent on the type of mask worn. This variability across different masks, along with the extent of acoustic impact observed in our technical measures, guided us in formulating a hypothesis and designing a study to further investigate these effects on human subjects. After revising our infection control protocol and ensuring the proper safety measures, we recruited human participants to take a deeper look. Participants were tested for speech perception using Keymar, a controlled speech source equipped with two styles of masks, as well as a control condition without a mask. Participants were tested across these three conditions with hearing aids alone, as well as with Keymar equipped with a Roger touchscreen mic. We hypothesized that despite the degradation to the speech signal, Roger would still provide the same amount of benefit when a talker is wearing a face mask relative to when a talker is not wearing a face mask. Results show that despite the variability across the different types of masks, there were no significant differences in the benefit provided by Roger across any of the conditions. Roger benefit is neither heightened nor degraded when a talker is wearing a face mask. This means Roger is a viable solution for typical use case situations such as adverse conditions of distance and background noise. At Phonak, we understand the current importance of infection control may preclude the use of Roger technology where a transmitter may be passed across multiple parties. We wanted to provide recommendations in the form of a custom mask program for these instances. By performing real ear output measures on human subjects, we found the following adjustments to remove any appreciable impact of the two masks investigated in the study. Increasing gain at G50 and G65 by three steps at three to four kilohertz and by six steps above four kilohertz. Particularly small ears may require no increase at three to four kilohertz and only three steps above four kilohertz. Increasing G50 and G65 gain may raise compression ratios. If a lower compression ratio is preferred, consider raising G80 by one to two steps. For more information regarding this research, you may visit www.phonacpro.com and visit the evidence section. During these challenging times, it is our hope that this information alleviates some of the communication challenges of today's climate. After all, well hearing is vital to overall well-being. Stay safe and stay healthy.